What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And this is going to be an hour special. Um, however, based on what uh, we are currently fighting, I suspect we may see a solid hour fighting the Swedes. So first and foremost, we are going to destroy this small force under Helmer Dagard. We need to destroy these troops and these artillery pieces as efficiently as possible. So let's take them out. So, because we are so overwhelmed on the island, the objective is not ultimate victory with the forces we have, it is to keep wearing them down. Because I am not going to recruit about six, seven, eight full stacks and do one massive invasion. Certainly not when, because of the region, because of the geography, they only have the ability to recruit two units at a time. So I'm not overly bothered about making sure I overwhelm them. If you're fighting in, say, Russia, that's more important. But I'm facing a small, well, a Swedish contingent on a smaller island that does not really have the facilities to uh, create a significant, a significant force. I might actually deploy my... Riflemen out front of my guns to deploy. Actually, notionally to deploy stakes, but I should may as well put one of these down. They can add, they can be a bit tricky when it comes to uh, line of sight for certain types of shell. But over overly, in general, I'm not massively concerned. Um, fire wall is going to be off. These chaps are going to be grouped. I need to quickly turn down the volume in my in my ears. Rifle are deployed. Let's deploy cavalry on the right. Some cavalry on the left. General is going to join them as well because we will be wanting to try and chase them down. And we've got some good howitzers. Run the rifleman back. This flank can stretch out a bit more. So my howitzers are have engaged. They're engaging the enemy artillery. So once the the rifles are, f are, are behind the lines, they can then run out to the flank because our guard artillery is going to naturally focus on their field artillery. This is a pretty good position actually because there's lots of there's lots of enemy units around them. So I want to keep Actually I should probably get my howitzers to generally focus on their units. Let my heavy guns do as much as they can. I'm going to switch to you good shrapnel shot and hit this regiment of horse. I'm curious to see how well... Oh, they've already fired. Well, they've done very well. And any misses are actually hitting the units behind them. Very well. Let's switch this artillery to shrapnel shot as well. Oh, that could have been a good hit. The main... Well, because they're... That's where they are. I can afford to take my left flank and push it up. I'll tell you one thing we've not done is have a good look at my riflemen, who, despite being in yellow coats <coughs> in the thumbnail, are actually equipped with green coats. Could probably stand to do something like that as well on the right flank where's my other cavalry you are here okay so these guns focus on the units to your front got some sound bug shenanigans <clears throat> my voice is all croaky let's keep one howitzer unit focusing on the rear You start to blast these troops at short range with canister shot. I might actually get my both my howitzers to start pummeling 
the cavalry to the rear, especially if it means it provokes them into action. Push up this flank, push up you guys. Commit my Lancer Guards and commit my cavalry. I know that they are. they have spikes. So I need to be a bit careful. So let's try and surround this unit of regiment of horse. My Lancer Guards will do some good damage on the charge, but then I'll start to lose. Lots of fleeing Swedes. It's lovely to see. New men. Focus on the 99th. Ooh, actually, they've. The Lancer Guards are. Being a bit problematic. That's not too terrible of a quick climb attack. Let's get my field artillery to get back into round shot. Okay, let's start to hunt and destroy, hunt down and destroy. You guys just start trying, trying to open up on the 20th. So my Crassier should do really, really good work against all of these types, especially as they're actually all quite depleted. There we go. Let's get our, our artillery focusing on their artillery. The general's been killed. So my rifleman can engage the general's bodyguard. Okay, my lancer guards begin to immediately pursue the light infantry. Or begin to pursue maybe the 102nd. Rifleman out there continuing to waste ammunition because when you click on light infantry behavior, they might, while they still, uh, while they space out and do lots of good stuff, what they also do is continue to shoot at things that you might not necessarily want them to shoot at. Not quite as many, not quite as, uh, rousing of a victory as I'd like, or at least not in terms of clean kills of Swedish troops. It's still a reasonable win. My Crossier is still fighting General's bodyguard. It's a pity I can't... You're going to lose your men, so you head east. Or head, not, not necessarily east, but... somewhere. Now we can start to try and gun down the artillery crew. I'm not bothered about shooting the I'm not bothered about shooting the uh, artillery crews actually no whoa, whoa, whoa. no spikes try kill as many of the gunners as you can but it looks like there's well, there's definitely a certain amount <clears throat> Speed up time, really, because it looks like. Okay, you attack the 97th, you guys attack the 36th, it's stop and fire at will. There's two gunners that need to die. He's the only one that's left, actually. And he's been knocked down by 
my lancers. There he goes. So that's the first army pushed back. Well, I didn't lose too many men, actually. They've been pushed back. Ooh. Oh, lovely. A nice depleted army with most of the infantry units sat at around 40 to 50 men. So some really good opportunities here to do some... Uh, to do some eradication of units with our cavalry. And ch chasing down these depleted units is very much useful because while... Actually, what's so much so, what I'm going to do is my gunners are going to be formed up. We're going to form an offensive line. Because we do want to surround and destroy them quickly. Yeah, my rifles can go on this side. Um, so while they might have a recruiting limit of two units a turn, they can still replenish men. They can still replenish a full stack if they have the money, which they usually do because the, the AI cheats. I mean, in goes a load of artillery. Cavalry is going to go out on the flank because I don't want them to get shot at. To be honest, they could all. Ooh, they've got. They have their own artillery. To be honest, just push that flank up there, you guys can line up there, fill in the gap. 16th light foot are getting mowed down. To be honest, I don't know how much of their men I need to, how many of their men I need to kill before they disappear from the map. Those guys can focus exclusively onto the regiment of horse because they're the only things that can really screw up my use of cavalry by tying up my men. Too bad I've got the sound bug. There we go. Won't be too long before they are all done for. Lots of spikes. Part of the reason why I'm so keen to let my cavalry do most of the work most of the work once the battle is done. Let's commit some of them in now. Not bothered about chasing the cavalry down. So I might be using a handful more men than I otherwise would, but in the grand scheme I think it's okay. I might keep one unit wide. I know they're only blunderbuss shotgunners, but... There we go. Oh, I did retarget my howitzers, but I guess it didn't listen to me. To be honest, let's just stop my artillery from firing at all. Because those engineers are going to get shot to bits anyway. Excellent. Then, right, we're going to continue. That's the 4th Regiment destroyed. Let's just speed up time, because right now we've just got a whole bunch of... people that need shooting. Come on. The ninth foot guards. Ride them down. Ride them down. Yep. 
you're chasing down the line infantry at the head of the column. You're going to knock out the 67th Regiment of Foot. No, they're going to escape. Actually, no, they're not. So you're two men here, and that how it's a unit only has one infantryman left. Excellent. It's another nice victory. So the hope is that they keep feeding us armies like this, because this is very manageable. Ooh. So, 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 there's some very interesting potential here. Very interesting potential. What we can do, I think, first of all, let's take this rake. Ooh. Get onwards to Kazan. First of all, actually, let's have a, do a quick round robin on our constructions to make sure everything that can be upgraded is being upgraded. Because... To be honest, I may as well do it now. So, what I'm thinking is that we attack Cagliari, and then that will cause all these guys to go away. Signore, i vostri ordini... But what I want to do I is probably use this army to attack. Sì. So if I charge you guys... So if I send those guys to attack the city... It means they can move, and it means these guys can also move up. But, but what I think is if I take... Move two units of guns out of the army. Borrow... These two grenadiers. That's quite a good assaulting army. And if I do... This, can I attack without calling in all those reinforcements? It doesn't look like I can. What if I remove you guys from the attack? No, it looks like it's going to be... They're all going to fight anyway. So this is going to be a... Bit of a... Uh, a quick siege. So let's get a... Cavalry isn't too bad to have immediately coming in. Because it does allow me to... Uh, it does allow me to get some heavy hitting support quicker. I mean, I don't need is artillery. So, I need to play this very carefully. Knock out and dismantle the fort and get in there while I can hop in and take the city. If not, then I'll be able to destroy a lot of their reinforcing armies. But I think I've got to do it. So let's do it. The, the gamble here is pretty good. If I can take the city quickly, then the Swedish question has been answered and I won't have half as many troubles as if I don't do it. Because if I don't do it, they're definitely going to march south and siege me anyway. Well, not siege me, they're going to intercept me anyway. Um, so the gamble is worth it, I think. It might end up destroying these armies quicker than they otherwise would have been destroyed if I didn't attack, but I think it's a risk worth making. Okay, so only two guns, because I don't need a huge amount of artillery. I'm going to get one set of guns forward. I'm going to deploy one set of guns, set of howitzers, here in this... Whoops. Okay, you're already... Okay, you're going to be deployed here. You go back to being up front. And then this unit that's back here not doing anything. Hmm. You might push up from the flank. So, in terms of people going in the front, it's going to be these two pikes and two infantry. And then... Going around the rear, we're going to have a whole bunch of infantry, all hidden. Cavalry is also going to be deployed to try and, in an attempt to try and make 
get use of some of the any gatehouses we capture. Okay. You make a breach. You guys hit. Hit whoever's up front first. You guys hit. 47th. Fairly sure that's two of them targeting the same thing. The main thing to be careful of with this unit is that... Ooh, the 54th would have been a good target. The main thing is to make sure I don't damage enough units for them to rout before I'm ready. So we are making our breach. What I want to do is probably want to make a breach here, then maybe knock down this section of the wall. Just to collapse it and prevent them from doing too much damage to me. What I'm curious about is how well this howitzer unit's gonna do, because it looks like they've not They've not landed any knockout blows yet. They're about to fire. Oh, it's because I'm firing round shot. I'm a dummy. I will want someone to drop round shot in the centre, and I think that's probably going to be these guys. I won't want to attack any units. I want to drop it, like, here. So natural scatter will start to pick out any other um, cavalrymen. Because cavalry are the biggest, the most frustrating thing to deal with. So are you in position? One of our artillery crews has lost some troops. Still, yeah, they are picking at stuff. Okay, so the actual range of the round shot is when they pivot the uh, the guns around. If I click quick line, okay, let's drop round shot in the middle, specifically avoiding targeting anyone because I don't want any cavalry to aggro and come out of the fort. Okay, the 54th unit, she looks quite damaged. So once these guys are fired, I'll go and retarget the other. So these guys are going to drop shells. I might want to drop them a bit... a bit further away. So a few, few less... Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. They're going to knock down the command HQ anyway. This howitzer unit... Can you hit the 101st? Because one of these units got hammered. Then, 225 down to 92. To be honest, the units up on the hill may also be able to drop artillery shots into the centre as well, my field artillery. I mean, I'll probably make them hit a breach, put a breach through here as well. Before doing that. Oh, there we go. So they've already... Okay, good. That's the kind of thing I wanted to see. Okay, good. How it's a unit up front. Begin to hit units close to the centre. In fact, the unit that's out on the right should really have made them... Quick line the gap. This guy, you need to start putting some holes in the, uh, the troops that have arrayed against us. Speed up time and watch how things play out. Some good quick climb. To be honest, my forward line might push up. I mean, you can just about reach the hundred and first. So 
maybe you aim for the 101st. This unit tried to clear out some units from the breach. Because to be honest, loads of their defences in here, in the centre, are cavalry, which my pikes will absolutely melt through. Actually, can you guys... Here's a, here's a brisk. Can you guys... Like it's a game of like it's a game of uh, rust. I don't want to hit the front wall. Can they hit the wall that's currently being occupied by the hundred and first? Take that down from the rear. Some excellent quick climb done there. You go back to round shotting the centre because right now this is a blend of troops that are just very weak. It's quite frustrating. They aren't. I mean, these guys are clearly up here because they know I'm around. Okay, this unit here. I'm tempted to try and put another breach in here, just to try and... If I assault through here, I also want a bit more support, considering I have all these assault troops. On the flank, but what I'm kind of expecting to see is... God, there's only one gorilla left. To be honest, I might end up having to push up my troops, but be a bit, be a, have a bit more of a frontal assault. New men start hammering the breach and be ready. Actually, no, you guys. Those guys hammer the breach, you guys climb up, secure the gate, so I have two avenues for my... I have two avenues for my pikemen to get involved. They've realised something's up. So much so, my plan there is very much on. Field artillery, drop shells in the middle. If you can. Okay, it looks like they can because they're placed quite high. In this case, I'm relying on the general scatter. Here we go, boys. You guys get out of square, climb the gate. This is a turn up for the books. Not something you see very often. something where they generally they just run out of the city towards you let's get my pike my cavalry involved where's my general so many men in the center are going to fall you guys are going to absolutely melt through this cavalry but what i'm hoping is if i can do this secure the gate Run men through the centre. You go secure the gate, get up there quickly. Well, to be honest, doesn't entirely matter. See cavalry on the loose. Hit them, general. You guys get up there and secure the gate. Get my Crassiers fighting the general's bodyguard because I want you guys to run 
along and secure that gate. I want you guys to run along and secure that gate. You guys to run off of the wall. Soon, you guys get over here. So at some point, we're going to start seeing good, 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 good. The artillery starting to starting to hit us. Cavalry fight then. So, because it's, it takes infantry a bit of a time to rout, we have a good amount of time to do what we want to do, secure what we want to secure, and then take take the fort, more or less. Where are they coming from? They're routing from over there. Okay, some of my cavalry can be positioned up threat in order to intercept and do damage to whomever. I've got my pikemen in the centre. There goes the... There goes that building. No, you men just form square. And my pikes are doing... Provincial cavalry, and there's line infantry in here. Get my grenadiers over to the breach. The main thing to remember is I do need to defend these walls. Okay. Let's get my general in here. My garrison. Oh, okay, get my garrison guards over by the breach. Then let's get my grenadiers. Let's get keep everyone else attacking the enemy. Now for you, the general's bodyguard. You guys secure the gate. This regiment of foot secure this battery of guns. This garrison guard secure this section of the wall. Come on, lads. Everyone needs... Everyone needs to pitch a hand. So you need to clear out the superior line before this comes a hell of a grudge match. You guys cover, try, cover the breach. Again, as we kill units, you can't get artillery on the walls. This is just the guns. This is their trading team running away and being silly. There we go. Building lost. Oh. Very well. Okay, my grenade. Okay, let's start to set up defenses in our breach or towards our breach. So here's the enemy horde coming in, and this was the reason why you had to uh, just throw your men in quickly at the right time because now the time is ticking down okay you guys get up get up there these men that are the weakest can sit on the gate make sure it stays ours we'll re-attack and destroy the 101st Crossiers are going to create 
I'm going to be unhappy. Well, actually, this might be an argument to put the Swiss pikemen up, turn fire at will off, and keep them as reinforcements. Come on, you men. Climb. Oh, General's bodyguards got involved. New one. However, in 20 seconds, the fort will be ours. Because these men, are, they're just sat in it. But there we go. You need Sometimes you need to do it quickly. I'm surprised they didn't go for my guns, really. But I think yeah, these guys are hidden. I know, they've, they have fought someone. But they're hidden. So the enemy doesn't see them. But there we go. So the chief benefit of this is that we've captured the city. And it means that we win. All those forces are horrendously destroyed. And in effect, they are actually permanently destroyed. They have... They will be removed from the map because the Swedish Empire is finito. Which means all of their ships from the Baltic are gone as well. So, these Swiss Grenadiers can go back to join Romano Babi. This artillery can join them. Both of these armies are now reformed. The sloop can get inside. We can repair the governor's barracks. I mean, these units are going to be repurposed to then go and hit um, Bastia. Because Genoa is hostile and a protector of Bavaria. So that will be quite handy. It will be very handy. Although this will be a bit of a slog because there's a whole bunch of troops there. Let's let these guys replenish first. Elsewhere, obviously we've got Britain raiding us. We've got lots of things... Well, we're still things are still going on in the in the in Egypt. So you're still recruit. I want to recruit a bit of a a bit of a normal army. So that I can then take this force and push start to push the Ottomans out of the region. Right now I don't really want to weaken my garrison because I don't I, I'm only just about to build walls. Um, elsewhere against the Russians. Signore, okay, you. Okay, you. Klausenberg now has a garrison. It's probably built settlement fortifications. Oh, sorry, my microphone tipped over. The uh, bearing arm on this thing is pretty pants. A lot of Russians. But this is why I want to keep... The forces that are in good condition moving up. To be honest, even ones that aren't in great nick, like this one, could probably push up to threaten the Algarve. Can you successfully leave Gdansk? You can. You can push up. You guys can occupy Gdansk. What we also need to do is take some of these guys. My flank attack. Let's see, can you guys leave Archangels? Just. Get some militia, just to be safe. You men march onward towards this gap. This force that's in good nick, march onto Petrovskaya. These units begin to converge onto these marauding Russians. This small army of infantry. March up to Fort Corella. And you can be met by reinforcements from Finland. So the Russians, this Russian army, or this Russian fleet, is trapped. Signore. We are growing another good force outside of St. Petersburg. So I really do not want to leave them unoccupied. Yeah, let's only get one row from it, and then it gets the rest of line. Good. Courland, Courland, Courland. Not Courland, Crimea. If I march you guys over there, how happy are you? Minus eight. We could really do with 
increasing the spread of our religion. This small force up here, go and destroy that single unit. Occupying that steam powered carpet mill. So we can do repairs. You may need to replenish because you've done, you've done some pretty good fighting. You hunker down for now because to be honest I need to see what's going to happen over here. I want them to go after Nino Boscovich and Laval but if I'm if they're clustering to the south then I kind of want to break through in the north really. Elsewhere in the world we've taken Cayenne. See the Mughals are up to no good. Do I end up landing in Florida, maybe? I don't know. Not so bothered about the uh, the Americas just yet. A rebellion in Württemberg. A proper rebellion. Alright. One of these armies that was currently sat on duty waiting to fight Bavaria. You can clear out these Württemberg rebels. Once we've once we've destroyed them, they should cheer up significantly. Oh, minus two. Okay, you guys get ready to hop in. Replenish. Okay. Lots of good stuff here. Okay. Priests are on the march, aren't they? And there is Dammit. So we're going to march towards Komi. Hopefully knock out um, Tataria or Kazan and Ufa. Although I would like to make more progress in the Middle East first. Right, there's still a Russian force down there in southern, southern, um, southern Sweden. So need to get ready to take them out in due course. Cracking anchor is not going to be a not going to be a fun job, is it? Hmm. Don't worry, Ottomans. Soon there will be no schools to raid. So Russia. Rebels! Cool rebels. I hope they win, just because I've always I've never seen a proper revolution happen in in this game against Russia. Ooh, you've been intercepted. Um I am gonna fight it because my army's a bit knackered. And I don't really want to risk an auto-resolve middle finger to the face. And then lose a good chunk of this army. That's generally what happens if you give the auto resolve. It feels that if I if I imagined auto resolve as a person, if you what? Okay, so if for whatever reason we were all over here, even though we can deploy like this. Okay. Tiny units. Tiny units can. Don't just assign them individually. No, we can't actually garrison that wall. I don't see have to do it individually. Okay. Even though I never normally do this, it's just kind of give them give them something to do. Together they aren't oh wonder if you Yeah, oh nuts. Together they aren't too terrible. I can give them a massive artillery team for support. Then in the centre, draw 
three lines, three units. And get a smaller unit, which is more like it. On this flank. I do wonder if, they, if it's just... If they're stealing units from one of my batteries to populate another, I don't know. But in this army, we have bucket loads of cavalry, including a super Kurokurasi air unit. I have no idea why it does this. It just does. I don't know why I have 200 odd Kurosiers. Or why my howitzers have like 100 men apiece. Switch them to round shot. They can engage. So it's everyone against this heavy horse howitzer unit. Which fortunately, because that's what we've got. Oh, well, nearly. They're already very upset. So those are Bohemian Grenzers. They look pretty neat. So they've lost six crew. One of them is on his way over, but not enough to destroy any guns. Hello, sharpshooters. Come on, lads. Knock out a gun team. Especially when there's Russians right here. Let's speed up time a little bit because they don't seem to want to attack even though uh, well they're defending their artillery oh, I hear a cavalry charge I thought I did hey I've lost a load of cuirassiers Get on the move. Lost 50 cuirassiers. Now I've only got twice as many as I should normally have. I don't quite know where you're shooting either. Blast the infantry with shrapnel. Yes, took an extra big hit there. Let's get you guys straight in. Okay, these hussars are going to eat this warband for breakfast. I can actually be my cuirassiers round because now they are actually officially on like one third starting health. Even though in the re reality they are still on like full strength. So close to eating that entire canister shot. Yes, Curiosity has come back. In which case, then, let's turn off my shrapnel shooting artillery pieces. Hey. Let's see, what are you charging my artillery for? shot bombard them you men very carefully hit this artillery there we 
go, so that infantry's routed. The general's been killed. Charge the Vibioni Strelzi. Speed up time. So it looks like that cavalry is the only thing left. It is. I'm going to continue. Just because. Uh, I caught that just in time. They were all out to charge forward and go hit someone, hit that gunner, wherever he is. There he is. But he's going to get away. This is heavy cavalry chasing him down. All my lighter cavalry is over here, fighting their light infantry. But they've been knocked out as well. Sweet. Back you go. Again, the Russians are on their intellectual offensive, but that's not going to work out well for them. Ooh, do I want to intercept? I think I do, but looking at the timer, we're damn near an hour and I am roasting in my bedroom, so I, I need to have a break. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of a Russian force near their former capital. Cheers everyone.